What's going on guys? This is uh, going to be my video on my Smith & Wesson M&P 15X. Two different uh, features about the X model than um, your regular M&P uh, 15 model. The X model, uh, most obvious reason first, is going to be this Troy Industries quad rail. Uh, it's going to be an all aluminum rail. It's vented... Um, to reduce the uh, collection of heat. Rail feels good in your hand just by itself. A um, little jagged um, if you for continuous fire. It can be a little rough on your hands. I put a angled uh, Magpul angled foregrip on there. Um, I chose the angled foregrip instead of a vertical foregrip. Uh, it's just preference um, for the line of work that I'm in, um, law enforcement. When you you know, have an active shooter situation or, or something where you have to clear a corner um, or clear doorways or uh, something like that. You need to be able to turn those corners and turn them quick um, and turn them close. Uh, the vertical foregrip, a six inch vertical foregrip just gets in the way. I got big hands so a four inch vertical foregrip is not even an option for me. Um, but like I say, it's just personal preference. I chose uh, angled foregrip. The other reason this one is uh, different is going to be the Troy Industries rear flip-up battle sight. Um, this is one hell of a nice sight. I think it retails for about 120 bucks um, by itself. Um, it's going to have a ghost ring aperture, and then you can flip it down. It's got a peep sight aperture. This is a co-witness site. You can use it in co-witness with the uh, EOTech 517 that I do have on here. When the site's laid down, it's only about uh, half an inch raised up off the top rail. And the EOTech 517, EOTech 517 runs off of AA batteries. Um, the Eotech 512. I think you can. I actually think you can get this one both ways. I think it'll run off of double A's, and you can get it one that'll run off CR 123 batteries. Um, CR 123s, depending on where you buy them, uh, is that's going to depend on how much you give for them. We have a, a police store uh, here in my state, um, Stretchers Police Supply. You can get Streamlight. Um, CR-123 batteries for $6 for two of them all day long up there. Standard A2 front sight. 16-inch barrel with flash suppressor. Six-position stock. Like I say, basic AR-15 setup. Um, got this one on safe. Just for all you people out there who are afraid to handle a gun, think it's going to go off if you pick it up. I do have bullets in this magazine. I've got the bolt locked back. Uh, safety is on, but always remember the safety is between your ears. That's the biggest one. Don't forget that. Now, I see a lot of guys out there who will do what I, what I call tactical was what everybody calls it um you'll see lasers you'll see flashlights you'll see um all this shit you don't need on these ar-15s i could see there being a legitimate purpose for a flashlight i could see there being a legitimate purpose for a uh a laser um but you know to have one of each on each side and then to have all this other crap on there you know, you don't see a lot of these guys overseas that are fighting with all this crap on their rifles because they hike, um, I don't know, 10, 15 miles a day. And if they have an extra 20 or um, 24 ounces, a pound or a pound and a half of weight on their rifle, after 20 miles, 15, 20 miles, that is a lot of weight that you're carrying around. You might not think that, but I'll bet a lot of people out there haven't actually hiked 20 miles with... Uh, 40 pounds of weight or 50 pounds of weight and a rifle and ammunition, everything else hooked to their body. Um, a lot of, co you know, cool things that Magpul has done is um, a lot of their stuff is polymer. Uh, this vertical foregrip's polymer. These magazines, these P-Mags, 
These are polymer. Um, very lightweight as opposed to an aluminum or a steel magazine. Uh, you would not think that uh, you know two or three ounces weight difference would uh, would uh, affect you that much, but when you're carrying ten or fifteen of these, that's going to make some difference. I mean, you know, for example, you take a uh, Glock. Every Glock pistol that they've ever made has polymer magazines, uh, polymer frames, um, lightweight, reliable. You know. I think 85% of military and law enforcement uh, carry Glocks. Um, that's a Gen 2, or that's a, a Gen 4 uh, Glock 22, by the way. Um, but you take this Smith & Wesson M&P 40 Compact. What kind of magazine does it have? It has a uh, you know, stainless steel magazine, which there's nothing wrong with a stainless steel magazine. Except if you're carrying 10 or 15 of them. <laughs> which you probably wouldn't carry 10 or 15 of those particular ones. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to go on a rant about that. I'm going to do a couple other things to this. Probably put a Hogue um, grip on there. Maybe a few things for tactical, not tactical, but tactical advantages. Um, tell you a little bit about this EOTech 517. Uh, it is a double A model. Um, and as you can see from the side I'm on, EOTech on the 517 model, as opposed to the 512 model, they put the um, on-off slash contrast buttons on the left-hand side. Um, the reason they've done this is, well, an obvious reason, of course, so you can have this uh, mounted right against your rear sight. You can take up as little space as possible on the top rail. Uh, one of the other advantages to this is this got a, on the battery compartment right above here, it's got a 7mm raised base. Now, if that base came straight off, then it would run right into the top of that rail, and I would have to sacrifice my rear sight, or I would end up having to put the EOTech down here on the, uh, uh, on the top of the quad rail. I wouldn't be able to have it on my upper receiver here. Um... So that is a big plus there. This is not a free, a free float receiver. It is hooked into the Delta ring there, by the way. So Rifle's very accurate. I've had no problems with it at all. Um, I actually just picked it up today, if I didn't mention that. I've put about 120 or 30 rounds through it at the range. Not one problem. I'm not going to turn the EOTech on. There's too many damn videos out here with people turning on their EOTechs and all this other crap. You don't need to see that. You know what an EOTech looks like. You don't know what an EOTech looks like. Play Call of Duty. I don't play that crap, but play it. But yeah, that's my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, probably have a couple more videos on some equipment. Um, going to do a review on a uh, Black Hawk um, Level 3 Serpa duty holster uh, probably also be doing a video on uh, this little gun here you don't see a whole lot of um, this is a uh, Colt model 25 and 25 caliber if I can get that to focus in there you go um, gonna do a takedown video on it show you what it's like um, take it out to the range shoot it a little bit as with all these other guns um, it's going to be doing a uh, Ruger Super Black Hawk 44 Magnum 10 inch barrel it's going to be interesting to do that one right, I hope you enjoy the video